What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're taking a look at a little game called Gladiator School which recently entered version .77. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and stab some guys in the face until we earn money and skill stones which will fall from their orifices. Let's jump on into the game. Uh, create a new one here. Now that a new game has been created, we got to choose what we look like. I'm preferable to this guy right here just because he looks like a badass. I don't know. He looks like he might be in like a punk leaning ska band, like a punk ska band that definitely leans punk. You know what I mean? And then we got a wolf right here. And so we're going to call ourselves, God, I don't even know. We're going to call ourselves crazy chow chow. Oh, it won't fit. Damn it. Well, fine then. We'll call ourselves like, um, I. We'll go for the uh, wolf hearts. There we go. And nothing else will fit. Everything else funny that I want to do like the booty masters won't fit. And so unfortunately, maybe I'll try booty masters. But then, oh, booty masters actually fit. See, I was wrong. I'm wrong very frequently in videos. But then why would our why would our picture be a lion though? Like our booty masters has to have something that's vaguely booty. Oh, that's it right there. That's booty masters. You are a respected master of combat, recently retired from the Imperial Army. You've inherited a plot of land and decided to build your own gladiator school, so on that plot of land we hatched a plot. Gotcha. Your story begins here in a marketplace where you will buy your first gladiator. Ah, uh, nothing says legitimate business like buying human beings. Obviously, that's a great leg to stand on when we're dealing with ethics committees. Uh, there's a bunch of perks you can start with. Dominus, which increases loyalty. Doctore, makes you get experience faster. Free action point. Uh, better gladiators at market, 10% chance. Uh, basically, when it rolls the gladiators, you occasionally get one that is like one tier higher than the price that you're buying them at. It's pretty good. And then we've got the trader, which allows you to make extra money every five days. Also very good. I'm preferable to these three right here. Uh, tactician is nice because you can get an action point, which allows you to instantly train a gladiator stat without having to use up any other stamina or anything like that which means that like three times a day you can level him up which means that you can make some pretty solid advancements playing the game in just the first couple days like that's the difference between earning say 15 20 hp in two days and earning like 60 hp in two days it's actually pretty good so we're gonna go for the action point this should take us to the docks right now where the first batch of individuals will come off the ship and we'll have to decide who we want to pick and so each person has a backstory, so he's the son of a war hero born in Britannia. He's got 1 damage, 16 stamina, and 40 health. He's workable. Uh, this guy right here has 14 stamina. He is the son of a slave trader enslaved in Smyrna. Irony! Uh, we've also got a deserter from Namidia. He's not very good, so we're just going to ignore him. We've got a high-ranking soldier from Arabia. He's not very good, so we're going to ignore him. And then this guy right here, son of a tribal leader enslaved in Antioch. Uh, really, the choice is down between these three right here. He's probably out, so it's between these two. This guy uses a spear. This guy has, like, some kind of execution blow with a warhammer. I love warhammers, so I'm gonna go with this guy. Boom, we've got our first gladiator slave, and his name is Cicero. Alright, so let's check and make sure he's not wounded first. Uh, he's not wounded, so that's good. We're already a leg up. Sometimes when you get, like... Low-ranking gladiators, they start out wounded, and you got to use stuff on them. We'll feed them real fast, and we need to get this place decked out. So I'm going to go to the build menu, and the first thing we're going to do up at the top, you can see we have gold, food, lumber, uh, wood, and then we've also got whatever the hell meat is. I'm not really sure how meat plays in, but I think that's for beasts. But I've never used beasts before because they're garbage. Uh, we want to train stamina. Stamina is by far the best stat in the game, so we're going to go with the treadmill first. So we can start training this guy's stamina. Up here at the top, you can see our master's menu, where we can do stuff with those action points that we got a free one of. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is give him a sandbag real fast so that he can start doing sandbag tasks, which means he can increase his damage because his damage is absolutely abysmal. Finally, I'm going to build myself a warm bath. Not enough coins and or planks. Yes, I do. I have plenty. Go ahead and do it. And then Cicero, get up in there and train on the treadmill real fast while I'm building this other stuff up. And so we'll also build him a bed so that he has a place to sleep down here in this area. And as you can see, once he's on the treadmill, we can click on him and he'll trade stamina for little pips down here that'll make him better. I'm going to use training boost on him so that he gets instant level ups and it goes a little bit faster because frankly, we're not even going to be able to fight for like the first... 
six or seven days. Basically, you want to come up with a ringer of a gladiator who can just knock everybody else out at the beginning. Otherwise, you're going to struggle. Boost failed. That's unfortunate. Probably because his stamina is low right now. I've noticed, maybe it's just a perception bias, but I've noticed that when his stamina is low, he tends to train worse. Once he's all out of stamina, we're going to take him down here and put him in the bath because it'll increase his mood and make it better, less likely to rebel. And that's also going to slowly increase his stamina so that we can train more today. I'm also going to click on the bed that I just built and I'm going to assign Cicero to that bed. In addition, I'm going to take an action here and promote him to team champion so that he gets the super badass awesome armor. It doesn't actually do anything. It just makes him look cooler. It designates him as champion here. Jump back on the treadmill. I'd like you to have at least... Let's say 40 stamina before we start doing anything else. And obviously there's going to be a lot of cutting and editing in this playthrough because it takes a long time to train your first batch of gladiators, no lie. It's actually fairly difficult to get gladiators of a decent quality just because the beginning of the game is slightly grindy. And so the basic thing that I'd like to do, if you want to look, we can actually build buildings over here too that make our gladiator school even better. It's kind of dirty over here. We can assign a janitor to clean this stuff up if we really want to. I'm just going to leave all the blood and feces and whatnot on the ground because... Eh, I treat my gladiators like a Tamagotchi. You play with them until you're not really entertained by their shenanigans anymore, and then you just let them die of their own poops until they come back on a spaceship. And that's how the game works. He just jumped up to 22 stamina. I'm probably going to try and get damage up to 10, stamina up to 40-ish, and health up to 80-ish before I let him do anything anything else. So no sleeping for the first couple days. He's hungry right now, so we're going to go ahead and feed him. But uh, I'll periodically check back in once his training is good to go. Look at this guy just relaxing in the bath with his armor on. What a fancy... This dude doesn't even care. This guy is trying. He's like, well, if I make the gladiator school go bankrupt, maybe I won't have to be a pit-fighting death savage anymore. Maybe I won't have to do this. All I ever wanted to do was be an artist. All I ever wanted to do was draw and post my work on Pinterest. That's all I ever desired, but the world can't let me have that. Practice boost! Please don't fail. Oh my god, it makes the game take so much longer when your practice boosts fail. I think it's not like 50-50. They seem to succeed most of the time, but like they don't succeed all of the time. And so his stamina is coming around. Stamina, let me tell you what the stats do here. So health is obviously like how much he can get punched in the face before things go wrong and he dies in combat. Damage is how much damage he deals, but stamina is kind of a unique stat. Because it has more uses than everything else. Uh, stamina is how long you can train in combat. It's how long you can block. It's how long you can press the attack. Uh, it's a very important stat. And so, by large, you want to focus on stamina more than anything else if you can help it. Because it's just a really good stat. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon right now. We're about almost to where I want to be with stamina. But it's still going to take some work to get him there. So, you know, that's just the way the front end of this game goes. Can't be helped. But it appears, though, he has a request. What do you want? Please ask that you give me some cake from the market. What happens if I give him a cake? I'll wait till he's hungry again. But he said he wanted a cake, and I don't know what that does if I give him a cake once he's hungry. Maybe it makes him, like, happier and he gets, like, a training bonus or something? Who knows? I haven't played this game a whole lot, but... I've gotten far enough in to know, like, the basics of the game and get it working. Aside from that, we've also got our roster right here. We can tell them to auto-train. We've got our school where we can have our gladiators list. We can give them jobs like cleaning up the ground or being a carpenter. We've got the league where this is how we place versus everybody else in the league. If we wanted to be, like, you know, the heat big badasses, we can do that. We can also go to the market, the tavern, and the beast pen through the places menu over here if we really want to. But as of right now, I tend to focus just on having, like, one gladiator in the beginning. And then as we get further into the game, I'll start getting one or two more who can alternate in. But for now, dear Cicero, there we go. I gave him a cake from the market. Maybe it helped out his mood. I don't know. He had cake for dinner. That's cool. I can understand that. Once I became an adult and I was able to eat ice cream and shit for dinner, I got husky really fast. But in the case of poor Cicero, he's working out all day every day, so I don't think he's going to put on a whole lot of weight. And so like that, dear Cicero has made it up to the 40 stamina that I required of him. That means that I'm more than likely going to put him on the uh, weight bag for a little bit so that he starts punching and getting a little bit stronger. He just asked that I pay him more. I don't think anything happens if I don't do that. Like, there's nowhere that it tracks all the various things that you're trying to, like, level up and all the little quests that the individual gladiators have. So I don't do them very often. Like, sometimes it seems to be fine, and then other times it seems to be weird. I don't know. Once he hops up out of the bathtub, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to throw, like, I think he should be able to get, like, 6 damage today, which puts him up to 10 damage tomorrow, and then from there, all we got to do is work on his health. I've found that the sweet spot for health for your first match tends to be about 60 or 70 HP, so we'll see what happens once we start to get there, but hopefully our boosts don't fail today. Boosts don't fail me now, need to sledge guys better. There we go, so if I can get him up to, like, 5 damage, that means he's competent in battle. 
but there's a lot of debuffs and stuff you can get in this game, so you can have a character who's, like, really good at fighting, but if he ends up getting his damage nerfed, like, at the outset of a fight by, like, various effects and things like that, uh, it can be ugly. And so I tend to overcompensate when it comes to damage and put my damage up to, like, 10 or 15 for the first fight, so that even if he catches, like, those 50% nerfs and whatnot, he can still swing that thang and knock a dude out if he needs to, so even nerfed, he'll be able to hit hard. There's also some other unique things you should know about. For example, damage. Uh, damage is at 1 out of 6 right now. That's because damage and health cannot be restored by going inside the sauna. Instead, you have to sleep through the night in order to restore your damage values and your health values to their maximum level before you go into a fight. And so keep that in mind as well. That's going to be something that needs to be resolved uh, as you're trying to play the game. It took me a little bit to realize you have to sleep through the night in order for damage and health to come back. Otherwise, it just sits there at 1 out of 6 and he never gets stronger. Basically, he's got to sleep, drink a lot of water, get some protein shakes in so he can get swole. Like, legitimately, if he was like a cologne, he would be swole spice. Like, if he was a plant, he'd be a swoleander bush. Like, that's what we're going for right now like if he drank malt liquor he'd be like swelled english you know what i mean like you just you got to keep those puns coming so there we are and he's actually at 10 damage right now so two out of three stats are basically at satisfactory levels in my opinion and then what we need to do now is we actually need to set up a training bench that will allow him to train his health but we're all out of lumber and so in order to convert logs into lumber because we have logs you have to send him to the workbench and then he'll go over here and this is actually going to be super time consuming because it takes a lot of stamina to convert logs into planks so as you can see goes down pretty quickly he'll probably produce about five six wood if we're really lucky every single time that he does this it's it is what it is it's a mechanic of the game normally later on what you'll have is you'll have a guy with crazy high stamina and no other stats and he's going to be your dedicated crafter from then on in like he's going to be the one that goes through and makes stuff happen in addition some of these buildings over here will automate that process to a certain result like there's a sawmill as a lumberjacking yard so that you can get more lumber and also that lumber will be every day converted in a certain percentage over into law or into lumber so that you don't have to mess with it anymore but uh, that's one of those things that like there's a lot of like little grindy things in this game that can be streamlined by getting further in and doing what you're gonna do but for right now we have to do it all manually which makes it all a bit of a nightmare now that we've got the allotted wood that we need uh, he's gonna use up his stamina right there he said it was his birthday and he also requested that uh, we give them a pit fight. Pit fights are a way for you to use action points to give them little death matches so that they can earn some money and they can also earn some skill points. Uh, it's up to you whether or not you use that. I haven't used this mechanic extensively, so we'll probably check it out in just a minute so that you can see what the combat looks like. I was kind of angling for our first league fight. Uh, I didn't use my boost today. That's unfortunate. Maybe I will. Let me put him on training real fast so that I can boost him. There we go. Before I waste my time. I don't want to miss out on my boosts. My boosts are useful to me. And so there we go. There's plus one damage. We'll boost him real fast. And then maybe I'll give him a pit fight. I don't know. Can he die in the pit fight? Nah, we'll just give him another. Ah, damn it. I missed out. All right, go back inside of here. What we're going to do then with that extra money is we're going to put in a weight lift to make his health a little bit better. Uh, because 40 health while average, we want to have like 20 more at least. Like you want to have at least 60 health going into your first league match to make sure that you have the the oomph to get through the fight without getting knocked the hell out because I don't need Chris Rock or Chris Tucker or whichever one it was. Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker. I always get Chris Rock and Chris. They got the same vocal tone, bro. They do the same kind of roles. Chris Tucker. I don't need Chris Tucker popping in and being like, oh, you got knocked out. No, I don't need that right now. I don't need it. You go train your health, sir. Your he elf. Yeah, you lift that brick. That brick of wood, which apparently is our only training method. He's already happy, so he won't drink the wine. Well, when I'm happy, I'll still drink wine. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm down for liquor whenever. That shit doesn't, mm -mm, doesn't even factor. I'll take liquor in whenever you'll give me liquor. Liquor's fantastic. With where he's at right now, I'm actually going to try out a pit fight. Let's see what happens in the pit. Uh, we can stay in school and send a gladiator, or we can travel to the arena to spectate the fight. Uh, let's go ahead and spectate the fight. Why not? Uh, we can go recruit level. It's free. We can arrange the fight. He's obviously not a gladiator, so let's go ahead and arrange the fight here. He might get wounded, but we'll see what happens. It's only five coins. What's the worst that could occur? So he's up against a guy who's pretty tough, but we hit harder than he does. His stamina is also inferior, so we'll see how it goes. We get to give them a tactical talk before we go into combat. We also get to give them a 
We can, so we can lower their health by half to increase their damage. Uh, we can put them on defensive, which increases their health by a ton, but then lowers their damage. It's up to you how you want to manage that. I tend to go with just a middle range thing. I'm going to say no pressure, do your best. That raised his stamina slightly. You can give him a pep talk where you can tell him you'll punish him if he doesn't win. You can tell him to no pressure, or you can tell him that you'll reward him if he wins. And those will have various effects depending on the kill. Like, sometimes they get nervous when you give them, like, a threat. Sometimes they get nervous when you give them a reward. It just kind of depends. Let's spectate. Throwdown time. Da -da -dang. Yeah, that big first hit. Knock him out. Get this guy. Dillius don't know you like that. Dilly dally shilly shally. Knock him on out. Keep the crowd happy. See if we can get a reward. Oh, the crowd -o meter Come on, keep the crowd -ometer up. We gotta, yeah, keep this thing fast-paced. Wreck this dude up. Knock him out with that sled. Ooh! Knocked out with the sledgehammer. So, Cicero, I think he's ready, man. I think he's ready. Uh, your opponent got injured very badly. We got a skill point, 50 coins, and we get a bonus? No. No bonus for us, unfortunately. I do like bonuses, but nope. No bonuses. The skill point's nice, though. The skill point is really nice, so I'm glad that he got that. We'll send him on up to the bathwater. Have him rest for a little bit. It looks like he's a tiny bit. Uh, there is a raid. Pay tribute or suffer. A raid by whom? I guess I'll pay the tribute because I don't have anything else to do with it. Like, I guess I will also feed him. It looks like he's bugged out slightly. He thinks he's in the bathtub right now, but he ain't no bathtub. You ain't a bathtub, sir. I guess I got to pay for that raid. That sucks. Although he did that at lower health, so I'm pretty happy with him right now. I don't really have a problem with it because we made 50 bucks from that fight. And I can do a bunch of fights tomorrow, too, if that's what's going to make him feel better. Uh, put him on health training, please. Health training time, lifting logs till we get so swole. And today we will have our first fight that actually matters. So sleepy, sleepy night, night time. Everybody go to the barracks. We're going to click on that. If he wins this fight, I will more than likely go in and see if I can buy another gladiator. League fights don't really pay this early on in, so you might want to use your action points once he's leveled up. Uh, you may want to use your action points instead of training to just let him pit fight over and over again and like kind of grind up some cash real fast, get like 300, 400 bucks available so he can punk on dudes hella hard but a 70 health 40 stamina and 11 damage he's ready it's time for a league fight amateur league uh booty masters we're down near the bottom right now that's not good i don't want to be in the bottom i want to be in the top share a payment to the gladiator for winning is five uh, this guy's got five damage 12 stamina oh this guy's gonna get beat down this guy's gonna have a terrible day it's gonna be a rough day for this guy so going on in tactics uh stay balanced pep talk no pressure do your thing bro have lots of extra stamina. Just take your time. Mess this guy up. This guy said it's going to be easy, dude. You and your Walmart shirt that you got for like $4 are going to get knocked out today. Yeah, you like that 11 damage right there? You can't block me. Can't block me, cat. Can't block me. Oh, he's nerfing my damage, though. That's unfortunate. See how bad my damage has been nerfed already? It's because I took a wound when I got hit. He doesn't get the same nerf, though, so I'm not really sure how that goes down. Ooh, we got four crowd meter. We might get something here. So he's got 50 coins and one skill point. Anything? Ah, I thought we did good on that one, but I guess the game does not agree with me. Uh, that took us up. We got promoted. The Booty Masters are now promoted. We went up a bit. And so there it is. We've got ourselves uh, one win under our belt. Nice little green W to make us happy. Uh, sir, eat some food. It is well deserved. Enjoy yourself. Gladiator is no longer hungry. Uh, let's put him to work. I'd like to get him a little bit more damage, I guess. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Let's boost him real quick. We'll give him a little bit more health, and then we'll give him a little bit more damage, and then I think we'll be about ready to hit the road and start doing, like, some real stuff. Get on over here. We'll give him another damage rating. Yup, there we go. Boost him on up. Practice boost. Boost it on up. Boost it, boost it on up. Boost it on up. Gotta get it. Gotta get it with the damage. With the cabbage. Cabbage doesn't rhyme with damage. Damn it. My former master at least let me sleep in a royal bed to be well. Well, I'm not your former master, am I? That's right, I'm your current master, and I tell you to get in there and work out with that sledgehammer before I get frustrated. Now it's the next day. He got some extra strength training in, which means he's looking strong. I think I'm gonna put him in the pit a couple times. Let's go ahead and we'll travel to the arena, spectate the fight. We'll jump on in and make like 100, 200 gold today. Ooh, 13 versus, ooh, this guy's rough. However, the good news is he's got terrible stamina, so... Eh? Let's see what happens. Hopefully he doesn't end up severely wounded. Go no pressure so that he has more stamina than the other guy. We're going to keep him on balanced. And let's uh, spectate. Let's see how it goes. I can't really do a whole lot more than that. All I can really do is hope that this guy gasses out. There you go. Gas him on out. There it is. Give it to him, cat. Give it to him. He's got you out of strength. So you got to win this based on just like a rush here. Otherwise, you ain't going to make it. 
And so there is our knockout. He has been leveled. Good, but not perfect. Defeated, suffered a major leg injury. Let's see if we got any bonuses. Oh, uh, we got a sturdy plus one hammer, which is cool. I've actually never gotten loot out of there. I've played the game a bit and never gotten any loot out of any of the chests. So that's awesome. I'm pleased with it. I'm going to let him uh, enter the Ludus real fast. And it looks like he wants to sleep more than anything else. Instead, I'm going to be like, uh, maybe you should just kind of hang out in here for a minute. Get yourself all tooled up. And then, ooh, his damage went up to 15 too. He leveled up a little bit. That's nice. Uh, give him some food there. And then I'm actually going to go to places. Let's go to the market. And I wanted to see general goods. If I can get some food, that'd be great. I think raw meat becomes food or something like that. I can sell some of my stuff, but I don't really have a whole lot. Let's have a look at the slaves real fast, too, while we're here. All these guys will be 50 coins, but occasionally you get one that's, like, way outside of his league. Like, he'll have, like, a terminal injury, essentially. Not a terminal injury, but a very, very aggressive injury. And you can buy him for dirt nasty cheap. Ooh, he's got good health. His stamina's bad. He's got Barbarian. He's a retired soldier from Pompeii. Is this pre or post Pompeii being blown the hell up? Nah, I'm not going to take any of these guys. These guys are garbage and I don't want them. Garbage and I don't want them. Instead, let's put him on the cooking grill for a little bit to make some more food. Uh, he should be able to take the raw meat and convert it over into, like, meat steaks, I think. Maybe. Can you do that for me, buddy? Can you do that for me? Do your thing. The other thing we can also do is we can go to his uh, skill points here. And if he has five skill points, he can level up. In addition, we can also go through, and I think we can change his weapon to somewhere. Although I don't know exactly how to do that. Like, his weapon can change somewhere in here. I just don't remember where to do it. I think maybe it's in our roster menu. We can go to here, and then we go to Cicero. No, that's not it either. How do I give him the plus one hammer? Because I definitely want him to have the plus one hammer. Hmm. Well, I can't seem to locate it. There is a place, I think, where it'll show, like, his weapon. And I think you can swap his weapon at some point, but... I don't see it, so... I guess I'll just let that go. Ah, I can't use my points. Shit, I wasted them. Damn! I wanted to use those points, too. I was excited about it. It's okay. His damage will go up to 16 right now from trading, and then we'll let him sleep for the night. Uh, this game is called Gladiator School. If you like what you saw so far, my name is Splattercat. I show off indie games every single day that you can pick up through Steam. Uh, games that you can check out. Steam, itch.io, lots of games like that. If you like what I do here on the channel, uh, make sure you support developers. That's why I do what I do is that I... It bums me out that developers can't afford to pay their bills and whatnot when they're making, like, super cool games and stuff. And so I like showing off games so they can get a little bit of sunlight. I will see you all in the next episode. If you guys want to see more, make sure you leave lots of likes and comments and all that good kind of stuff. It's how I judge how the series is performing by comparison to others. I will see you all later. Hi, do, everybody, and farewell.